What's up guys, Sleeping Giant. Today we're doing a video on the Cold Steel Trench Hawk. I'll put the specs up in the video. It's got a polymer handle on it. I'm not too thrilled about that. It's gonna probably need replaced. I can't see it handling too much abuse, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna cut down the half tree that I have that I work on. And then I'm gonna do a couple throw tests into a tree, see how well the handle holds up. The steel, I think will hold up good, but the handle itself, like I said, it's got that polymer on it. I don't think it will hold up too well. So we'll find out here in a minute, see how, see how that one holds up again. Cold steel trench hawk, 50 bucks, 50-ish dollars. All right, guys, I'm gonna test out on this uh, log here. See how it holds up. Okay. All right, so it chopped through that log all right. Um, but this bolt right here loosened up a little bit. So handle held up all right, bolt loosened. So it's all right though, handle held up. All right, so let's try a throw test. And throw this into a tree, tomahawk. So, so try that. All right, so now we're gonna use this as a tomahawk in a tree behind me here. We'll see how it holds up to the throwing. There's a pine tree I was throwing into. Didn't want to stick in, but I don't think it's the axe's fault. So. In the back, I think I have a grill or a piece of metal I can use this spike on to see how the spike holds up. Handle so far has turned out all right. So let's go back and see what I can find for metal. All right, I'm back here. There's no metal grill. Thought we had one but I found some of these metal tins or uh, like tin buckets that had like roughing tar in them or roughing sealant. So that is what I'm gonna use for the spike on the trench hawk. So I'm in the back right now and I'm gonna use the trench hawk spike on the tin five gallon bucket of roof sealer. It's the best metal I got right now. Um, now have it do for this video. Be using the spike in the back of the trench hawk.
I was beating on that 10 five gallon pail with the spike to see if I could dull the back, which it's still not dull, it's still sharp. Um, all you can see is the paint has came away, the coating has came away um, from the spike handle. Handle is in good shape still. Surprisingly, it's in good shape to me. Just that bolt loosened up earlier in the video. I wouldn't have this as my primary, but it holds up pretty well if you're gonna use it as a secondary tool. Um, I use my console tool, Modecraft Axe, for my primary. Um, this would be more of a, I guess, self-defense kind of a tool for in the woods. So I'd keep that for that. I'm not still not too thrilled about the polymer handle on this, but um, it'll have to do. It's held up so far on the testing. You can see like the coating up here on both sides have came away. The coating back here came away, but that's what's gonna happen when you use your tools. Um, yeah, so that is the cold steel trench hawk. I think I paid about 49 on Amazon for it. Um, but yeah, so that is the cold steel trench hawk. And it's a sleeping giant and I am out of here. See you guys later.